Yo, this is stupid. This is just stupid. Well, good evening, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. I'm Captain Mike D. Looks like we're about ready to have a pretty bad storm. Got all the insects are doing their nightly thing. But in this video, y'all, we are going to do a catch and cook on freshwater river shrimp. Yes, I said it. Freshwater shrimp. Basically, they're white shrimp, the same white shrimp we get in, in the salt water, but they do also do a run down the St. Johns River and up into Lake George. And they actually are quite large. We went out, I don't know if you guys saw the video, went shrimping. We did pretty good. We got our five gallons in like two hours out with my buddy Greg. And so I decided to do a catch and cook. I don't know if y'all have ever eaten freshwater shrimp or if you've even known about eating freshwater shrimp or if you even knew it was a thing. So that's what we're gonna do today, y'all. We're gonna go get some shrimp out there with my buddy Craig, and then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna cook some. Not really gonna clean them, and you'll see why. And then uh, we'll eat some shrimp. Stick around, y'all. Jetty Rockers. If you could, go ahead and go over to JettyRocks.com. You can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there. We also have some tackle available, and we will have more available soon. And also, guys, if you want to book a charter with me, you can book a charter there, because I am now running charters. So all my information is on that website, so go check it out, y'all. And you can be in your own, very own Jetty Rocks fishing video. I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me. Let's get back to the video. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What was the verdict? What was, oh man, look at all that. Some biggins. Biggins right there in the horn. River crickets. River crickets right in the horn. Freshwater crickets. Oh dang. Yeah, you pooned them. You pooned them. Holy cow. All right. Oh, there went one. All right. Whew. Get out of my horn. Man. I can't get over the size, buddy. Holy cow. Holy cow. Tug was catching work far from here, probably. No, not at That's all. The size he was getting. Yep. Monsters. Yes. Man. Oh, wow. I waxed him. Be careful, buddy. I waxed him. Overzealous. Keep back. Holy cow. Yo. Nailed him off. I did okay, yeah. Whew. Holy cow, y'all. That one was South Dakota. That was South Dakota. <laughs> hey, look at this, guys. Holy cow. I mean, come on. Let me talk about hot dogs, y'all. I mean, hot dog. All right, y'all. I'm back home. And this is what we ended up with, guys. We got five gallons of good, good shrimp. I mean, look at these. These are absolutely awesome looking shrimp. 
So what we like to do when we first catch our shrimp, beginning of a run or whatever, we like to eat them fresh that night. So I'm gonna take a bunch right here. There we go. Put them in our bowl. I'm gonna fill this bowl up right here. I'm just grab them by the antenna so that way you don't get poked. So I'm grab a whole bunch. There we go. We get nothing but shrimp. We don't want no leaves or any of that stuff in there. Get all that out. I mean, look at that, y'all. Yeah. Do one more bunch right there. I don't think that'll be good. Yeah, we'll do a little bit more. If we have leftovers, we have leftovers. All right. So that's what we're going to eat tonight, y'all. Look at that. All right, we got our shrimp, and how we like to do our shrimp the day we catch them, we like to eat them with the heads on and everything. And then we'll eat these, and then the rest of them I'll pop all the heads off and do all that kind of stuff. But we think they give, it gives it a really good flavor when you cook them with the heads on. We don't eat the heads or nothing, but uh, I think it gives it a real good flavor, and that's just something we like to do. So we got a pot of water here. I'm going to put some pink salt in there, about like that. I'm going to put some lemon juice, just regular old Walmart lemon juice. Put a little bit of that in there. About like that. And then I'm going to put a whole thing of Old Bay. And there we go. So we'll let that come to a boil and we'll be cooking some shrimp. All right, well, Mama just grabbed me and said, uh-uh, you better put some heat on that. So we're going to put some red pepper flakes in there. There we go. About like that. All right, y'all. I got my water boiling. So let's see if I can grab some of these. Start putting them in here. Woo! Run away. Look at that. Look at that. Hopefully my stuff don't overflow. I think I measured it about right. I hope I did. It looks like I did. Pretty darn close, I'd say. Look at that. Boom. There we go. Sometimes I amaze myself. Get a little bit of that, that stuff out of there. We don't need that. All right. I'll well, we'll just let these cook for like a minute, minute and a half, two minutes, just till they turn pink and they just get good and done. And they'll be ready to eat. Ooh, that's hot, y'all. I'm going to tell you that's hot. There's a... Ooh. Look at that stuff. Boom. Boom, boom. There we go. We got our shrimp all done. Got them in our container here. Boom. Got one little one in there. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at that. Woo. All right, y'all. I already peeled my shrimp. So we got a, a fresh St. John's River freshwater shrimp. This will be my very first time eating shrimp from the fresh water. See what it tastes like. That's pretty good. I actually have heard some people say that it tastes muddy, that they're not as good as saltwater shrimp, but uh, I disagree with that 100%. That right there is delicious absolutely delicious if you've never cooked shrimp with the heads on you got to do it fresh you can't freeze them it's really not good the next day you got to do it that day it just gives the shrimp an amazing flavor just a very good flavor and we really really like it hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching 
I haven't done a catch and cook on shrimp in a very long time, so I just thought I'd go ahead and do one to show you guys how I cook shrimp. And if you don't want to cook them with the heads on, you can do exactly what I did with the heads off, and the shrimp will taste awesome, just as awesome as they would. If you got them from the salt water or you bought them from the store and cooked them yourself. So I hope you guys try it. Thank you so much for watching. Until we see you all again, tight lines, Jetty Rockers. I'll see you guys on the next one.